Welcome to Examples Caseless Construction Software, your tool to a winning case list. Welcome to Part 3 of Examples Caseless Software Tutorial. We're going to show you how to enter in an OB case. We will start from the home page of the software. By clicking on the OB icon, a selection of categories will appear. Choose a category and either double click or press go. Narrow it to the OB spreadsheet of the case list software. At the top left, we will click on the Add Edit OB Record button. This will open up a form that will allow us to enter in an OB case. Let's enter in a real case right now. Patient's initials, patient's hospital information, Patient's age, patient's gravida, para, gestational age, and the amount of days in the hospital for the mother. We will choose a hospital from the drop down box from the hospitals we had entered in earlier. If you're using multiple time periods, please indicate the time period here. Now let's enter in the case. In the antepartum, we will enter in intrauterine growth and restrictions. To go to the next line, simply click Control and Enter. Severe preeclampsia. and induction. The delivery and postpartum information. Non-reassuring fetal heart tones. Again, control enter to go down to the next line. Vacuum delivery, placenta, fiber muscular, degeneration, and decrease in lumen size of arteries. Next we go to the procedures and treatments. We have a 24 hour urine protein fetal ultrasound and dopplers and lab evaluation induction of labor And finally, magnesium sulfate. Now I'll enter in the newborn's information. If you have twins, both babies' information can be entered in here. For this case, we'll just have one baby. We have the one one minute APGAR and the five minute APGAR. We have the baby's weight 
and the amount of days in hospital. No prenatal death. And we ventured in the baby's information. One of the best and most unique features of the Xampro software is the artificial intelligence built in. Here's how it works. To click. click on the Recommendations tab and then press Check Case. When we have this tab open, we will see the suggestions offered. These suggestions like Dr. having Dr. Sharma looking over your shoulder, making suggestions about the case you just entered. Let's see what the software suggests. When we are satisfied with our entry, we need to click Finished Editing. Now we can see everything we've entered onto this spreadsheet. This particular case is complete. To add another case to the same OB category, we click on the next button, Add New Row below Active Cell. This will up open up another form for us to enter in our patient's information. Should you need to edit or delete the previously entered case, simply highlight the case and click on the Add Edit button. This will allow you to edit the information or delete, should that be necessary. To view a selection of OB categories, click on the OB button at the top. This will bring up the OB list and you will be able to choose another category. To return home, click on the Home button at the top and it will bring you back to the home page of the software. Always make sure you are saving your entries by clicking on the Save File button. Thank you for joining us for Part 3 and tune in again when we guide you through Part 4 which is entering in an office case. Thank you for using the caseless construction software. Now let us help you defend your case list. Check out our seminars at www.example.com.